Now coming on to the major source of finance that is your shares. All right, what is a share? Kya hota hai share? I more than often, I often give this example of this movie Guru. Okay, I am sure most of you would have seen it. That wherein uh, when this person uh, starts a company, okay, public issue nikalta hai, to wo kya kehta hai unko ki meri company mein paisa lagao aur malik ban jao. Fine, company mein paisa lagao aur malik ban jao. Doesn't matter ki agar aapke paas bahut saare paise nahi, even if you have 100 rupees, you purchase one share of my company and you will also become one of the owners of the company. So basically the entire capital of the company is divided into small and equal units and each unit is called as a share. And by holding that share, by purchasing that share, you become one of the owners of the company. Clear? Now, shares can be divided, the shares can basically be of two types, equity shares and preference shares. Now, when we talk about equity shares, equity shares, if you purchase equity shares of a particular company, all right, then you, your money is going to remain invested in that company till the end, till the time the company is wound up, all right. And that is the reason why the equity shareholders are also called as the residual owners. They are also called as the residual owners, all right. Then equity shareholders also get dividend. Aap agar kisi company ke shares khari dhe ho, aap ke liye kya incentive hai, aap kyun khari dho ge us company ke shares? Fine, kyunki wo company aap ko dividend dhe ghi. Ab dividend kya hai? By using your money, whatever amount of profit that the company has been able to earn in a particular year. Okay, if the company has been able to earn, there is an if. If the company has been able to earn some amount of profit, then you are also going to get a small portion of that profit which is called as dividend, fine. But important thing is if the company earns profit, agar company ko profit nahi hua, to aapko dividend nahi milega, fine. Profit hua par sufficient nahi hua and company wants to reinvest this profit in the business, tab bhi aapko dividend nahi milega. All right. Now, what are the merits of purchasing equity shares for the investors? Number one, high returns. Now, high returns kaise? If I am, let us say, if I am investing, if I am, if I am putting my money in a fixed deposit account, okay? Mujhe pata hai, mujhe har mahine, uh, sorry, every year, let us say, 8.5% per annum ke hisaab se mujhe uske upar interest mil jayega. Right? But in case if I invest the same amount in buying equity shares of a particular company, right, and the company earns profit to the tune of thousand and thousand of crores, okay. So the amount of dividend that I am going to get, okay, on, on the equity shares that are being held by me is going to be much more than 8.5% 8, 8 per annum which I am going to get in a fixed deposit account, all right. So, it enables the investors to get a high rate of return on their money. And secondly, control. Now, since by purchasing equity shares, you become one of the owners of the company, you also get a right to participate in the management of the company. All right. At the same time, let us discuss the demerits also. Demerits for the investors would be that the returns are fluctuating. As I said, agar profit hai, to dividend milega. Profit nahi hai, to nahi milega. Profit kam hai, to bhi nahi milega. Profit bohat zada hai, to bohat zada dividend mil jayega. Nahi to thoda sa milega. So the returns are fluctuating. There is not a fixed return. FD mein paisa daloge, 8.5% har saal aapke paas aayega. But if you are purchasing equity shares, some years you may have huge amount of dividend, some years you may not have any dividend, some years you may have very little amount of dividend. So, returns are pretty fluctuating, right? Then, dilution of control. Dilution of control meaning, jaise jaise aapke number of equity shares badhte jayenge, Jaise jaise number of equity shares badhte jayenge, the control of each of the equity shareholder is going to get reduced over the company, right? Then what are the merits for the company? 
equity share capital is a permanent source of finance. Why is it a permanent source of finance? Because the amount remains permanently invested in the company. It is repayable to the shareholders only at the time of liquidation. Right? Secondly, no fixed burden. Company सर पे कोई बर्डन नहीं होता है हर साल उसको डिविडेंड देना ही देना है प्रॉफिट होगा तो देंगे नहीं होगा तो नहीं देंगे राइट देन नो चार्ज ऑन दी एसेट्स यू डोंट हैव टू मॉर्गेज योर एसेट्स टू बी इशुइंग इक्विटी शेयर कैपिटल राइट इंक्रीज इन क्रेडिट वर्दीनेस नाउ व्हेन यू हैव मोर ऑफ इक्विटी शेयर कैपिटल इन योर बैलेंस शीट पीपल आर रेडी टू पुट मनी in your company people are ready to put money in your company even without you having to mortgage your assets matlab unka agar itna vishwas hai aapke upar then the rest of the people will also be persuaded to invest in the company since jab dekhenge ki itni sari equity share capital hai itne logon ne agar itna vishwas dikhaya is company mein to kuch to hoga so it improves the credit worthiness of the company okay then demerits kya hai higher cost the cost of issue of shares you have to issue a prospectus and there are so many other legal formalities which have to be complied with so the cost of issue of equity shares is pretty high dilution of control i have already explained to you so that's a disadvantage for the company also and more number of formalities so this was all about equity shares now coming to preference shares i said there are two types of shares equity shares and preference shares now as the name itself suggests preference they get preference over equity shares in respect of two things number one payment of dividend pehle prefer agar dividend declare hua hai to pehle preference shareholders ko milega uske baad milega equity shareholders ko right and agar repayment honi hai company is being wound up repayment mein पहले प्रेफरेंस शेयर होल्डर्स को पैसे मिलेंगे अगर पैसे बचे तो इक्विटी शेयर होल्डर्स को मिलेंगे सो दीज आर बेसिकली देयर प्रेफरेंशियल राइट्स ऑफ द प्रेफरेंस शेयर होल्डर्स ऑल राइट एंड अनदर थिंग प्रेफरेंस शेयर होल्डर्स दे ऑलवेज गेट डिविडेंड दे गेट अ फिक्स रेट ऑफ डिविडेंड ठीक है आप कभी भी देखेंगे प्रेफरेंस शेयर लिखे होंगे हमेशा ऐसे टेन परसेंट प्रेफरेंस शेयर 10% preference shares meaning 